In 1964, researchers at MIT University were working on a computer program, a program so ahead of its time that it would allow seamless communication between humans and machines. In the next two years, they built Eliza, an app that would set the foundation for all the future chatbots. What made Eliza so impressive was the introduction of keyboard-enabled responses. For the first time, users felt they were talking to someone who understood their input. Pretend that you have some psychiatric problem. Type it in and see what happens. I'm depressed. By 1995, another language processing bot, Alice, came out and was followed by Smarter Child in 2001, setting the stage for all the current generation chatbots. However, a decade later, the introduction of AI chatbots like Amazon Alexa, Google Now, and Siri took the world by storm. Great news. We got to go ahead. Can you beat a ten? Alexa, five hundred rupees se kam ki dikha. Between seven p.m. and eight p.m. Sure. All right. I'll call to book under your name and phone number, and I'll update. But in November 2022, an artificial intelligence firm called OpenAI introduced ChatGPT, an advanced AI-powered chatbot. that has taken the world by storm let's understand what chat gpt is to better understand this chatbot i went to its website and tried asking a few questions but now you might think this is not new and existing chatbots like alexa siri and google assistant can also do this so what makes chat gpt so special While well, Siri and Alexa can interact with the physical world and complete actions on apps and devices, ChatGPT can't do any of that. Instead, it is designed to provide more detailed and comprehensive answers. For example, writing an essay. Now, this is something that other chatbots cannot do. ChatGPT, as it said, is based on generative pre-trained transformer architecture. that is trained on a massive amount of text data from the internet this is a type of neural network that was introduced in 2017 in a paper titled attention is all you need a neural network is a large network of computers that can fine tune its output based on the feedback given to it during stages of training this allows the model to better understand the context and meaning of the input and to generate conversational responses it can be used to write articles stories and even poetry The capacity of ChatGPT to produce responses like a conversation is one of its key advantages. It uses 570 GB of text data mined from the internet to answer a wide range of queries. Fundamentally, ChatGPT is a language model that can produce text that sound like human speech in a conversation setting. This implies that it can be used to develop chatbots that converse with students naturally and humanely in the academic world. but teachers and academicians are not thrilled about it especially when it comes to written assignments they feel that the bot could be used to turn in plagiarized essays that could be hard to detect for invigilators who are pressed for time most recently new york city's education department banned chat gpt in its public schools the authorities have forbidden the bots use in all devices and networks connected to schools like any natural language processing model ChatGPT has limitations related to caliber and volume of the training data. A representative and the diverse data set was not used to train the model. In that instance, it might not produce reliable answers to all the queries.